Here's Homer and Homesteader out at the Pisa Eden Homestead, and as you can see, it is winter in full swing. Coming down from Texas, where I think they only had in Central Texas 130 something degree days so far, I was rather chilly on a three degree morning sleeping here in the RV at the Pisa Eden Homestead. Yeah, Homer moved himself into an RV on the homestead. I uh, had noticed that there was very cold on my feet. Well, I'm going to do a couple series of what I'm doing to gradually increase my comfort and warmth here in the RV. So the first thing I noticed, my feet were cold this before it got down to three degrees. So I went and got me some straw bales and set around the bottom of the RV. That helped keep my toes a little bit warmer. But it was still not quite I wanted as far as warmth in the RV. So what I was going to do is put down some rugs. And I was also, as you might see behind me, going to buy some insulation and put up and kind of perform, put a blanket around the RV to keep me warmer. Well, like I said, the straw made a little bit warmer. And when I was searching for that there insulation and uh, buying rugs, I also ran into this product called Reflectix. It's kind of like bubble wrap but in silver and kind of what it does is reflects the heat and or cold uh, from each side. Well, I am decided to put some of that down under the rug. I'll do a little video on showing you how I cut that out and how I'm going to cut the rugs out. The Reflectix has caused a good increase and the warmth keeping a lot of the cold out i also when it got down to three degrees there's a bunch of cold air coming in on homer's bald head not much insulation value there when you use a razor but i decided to cover in the windows with that reflectix to keep some of the cold out and that really has helped a lot now this bedroom end of the RV doesn't get so cold stays about the same temperature as the rest of it uh, now it made it kind of like a bear cave up in there because <clears throat> you know there's no light in there which brings me to my next point and I'm going to kind of cover this as I go along as I put the insulation up I'm not going to put it all the way I'm like that next window there is the kitchen window I'm not going to cover that up. None of this is going to go to waste because I'm going to take it off in the spring as we build out the shell of a house around this here RV. But one thing I wanted to cover in this video that was a little instructional instead of just me being goofy was the uh, R value I learned. Where'd it go? There it is. Uh, the R value, this Reflectix did a good job of describing it to me. I'd always looked at it and figured the better, the bigger the number, the better. What I learned from that, and I'm going to apply here, is that Reflectix has an R value, which is a resistance to the transfer of heat of three. As you can see, this 2x6 Owen Corning Owens Corning has an R value of 19, so it resists or the transfer of heat at 19 level. Now, something I learned from reading on this here package uh, of Reflectix that I got over at the Home Depot in Alpena, Michigan, because there ain't a close one here in Mankato. But uh, if you put down that three value R value three of Reflectix. And you leave a little space of air, it stops the air and it doesn't transfer the cold or the heat between it. Now, according to the package here, if you put four and a half inches of dead air space between two layers of that Reflectix, it goes from an R value of three all the way up to 21. So uh, they said that about the under the floors. If you're putting in a little bit of radiant heat under your floors it says it'll go all the way up to r value 21 that thinks that counts on you having uh two layers of that and some dead air space 
and the same here for your crawl space. So what I think I'm gonna go back in and do around those windows, even though it's blocking off the air pretty good now and it's really made it warmer, I think I'm gonna put two layers and put a little strip of uh, wood between them so it has a dead air space so it'll give me some either, even better insulating value. Just kind of a little bit of Homer being funny and uh, I'll keep you updated on this project as I go. Couldn't find my sawhorses, so I made me a three ladder and a step stool sawhorse, and I'm gonna go cut up some plywood to kind of hold that insulation in places around the RV. That's all I got for right now. Not sure what else to tell you. I think my next video will be about putting the carpet down over this uh, new insulation reflectix material that I got. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about how that's warmed up so far and how that much more the rug does after I'm done. Well, that's all I got. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I hope that you have a great day. And just saw you lag an update on the property.